This is the famous Pythagorean theorem. Let's prove it in a couple of minutes. We'll start with a square of side length C. Then we'll insert a right triangle such that its hypotenuse is aligned with one of the square's sides. Say the triangle has legs A and B. We'll now take a copy of this triangle and align its hypotenuse with the opposite side of the square. We'll do the same thing for the upper side, like this, and finally the lower side, like that. Very good. Remember that all triangles are identical. So, for example, the lower triangle has legs B and A, like this. What we've done with this arrangement is create this inner square over here. What side length does this square have? Well, this entire length is A, but this chunk is B. So the square has side length A minus B. Okay, how does this prove the Pythagorean theorem? Well, we can now find the area of the big square as the sum of the area of the inner square and the four identical triangles. The big square has side length C, so its area must be C squared. The inner square has side length A minus B, so squaring it, we get its area. Each triangle has area half base times height, where the base and height are A and B, so we have 4 times AB over 2, which simplifies to 2AB. Now, let's open up the square. This gives us A squared plus B squared minus 2AB, and this cancels with the plus 2AB, leaving us with a squared plus B squared equals C squared. 